Can you hear me at the back? The last row? We are going to do a little bit of visualization, um, a little bit of a storytelling. But before that, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. How many of you over here would like to work for the same company, doing the same job for 20, 30 years? Raise your hand. How many of you would like to have a routine life? Where everything is a copycat. I know tomorrow what I'm going to be doing because it's a copycat from today. Life is very predictable. It might be boring, but it's safe. Raise your hand if you want this life. Now, how many of you have a dream? How many of you would like to do something really extraordinary of their life? Raise your hands up high. We all want to be successful. But what is success? Earl Nightingale, a, prog um, um, a creative thinker, says, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Let me say that again. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. A successful man is he who does exactly what he wants to do because he wants to, not because he has to. Whether the goal has been attained or not yet. So don't beat up yourself if you have a certain goal and you're trying to reach for that and you're working towards it, but it hasn't been done yet. It's about the journey, not when, you, when you're done there, you're going to just simply look for another goal. I used to work for one of the biggest airlines uh, on the planet. My life was very simple, into three blocks. The first block was finance and security. My bills, my bills were being paid. Um, I didn't have to worry about anything. I wanted to buy whatever car I want. Anything I want to buy is very simple because you know, I'm getting paid quite well. So that's okay. Fun. I've been to 42 countries and hundreds and hundreds of cities. So you can imagine. I had so much fun in so many languages. The third box was my dream. You know, I had a question mark. Here I am. I love my job. But then again, I have this burning desire that I want to do something else. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do something else. That was my dream. And here I am. I'm talking to you. This is what I wanted to do. To help people, assist them, to know that there is a different possibility to have a better version of yourself. What is your dream? Your dream could be anything. It could be that you would like to um, probably graduate from here and be a C-level executive, or maybe a VP. Maybe you would like to own a restaurant or have a bakery. My wife over there, she's working for her dream. She's a really good baker, ridiculously good. You can ask her for recipes later, but she's really good. This is what she wants. Maybe you would like to volunteer for the UN and do or, or some different cause. It's up to you. But some of you already shared some of your dreams earlier. So for the sake of a common scenario, we're going to say that your dream is you have a plan that when you graduate from here, you would like to own your own events management company. And you have teamed up with one of your colleagues. And the plan was, I'm going to graduate from here, work for it, get a job, save some money, get some experience, and then I'm going to move out of that job and have my own company. So far, this is perfect. That's the flag on top of my current goal. And you actually Go for it. After some time, as you're climbing your own mountain of success and getting higher, you might be facing a big tree log that's blocking your way. And this is a life event. It could be that you lost your money. Maybe your partner came and said, hey, you know what? I'm happy with the job that I'm doing. I don't want to have a job. I don't want to continue having my own business. It's too much risk. Maybe there's a financial crash. Anything that would happen to stop you in your tracks. And when this happened, and it will happen, there's three kinds of people. What kind, what category do you think you belong to? The first ones, they're going to say, we tried. At least we tried. It's not working. I'm done. I'm leaving. And they quit. Now, the second type of people, they would say, no. I'm staying. I came a long way already, but I don't know what to do. 
Now these people are stuck, and all they need is a little bit of an encouragement, a little bit of a push, and they're going to be on your way. They're going to be on their way. Do you know someone who's been stuck? Have you been stuck at some point in your life and you didn't know what to do next? Now the third type of people will do whatever it takes to go beyond this hurdle, around it, or even dig a tunnel and go underneath it because they have their goals in front of them, ahead of them at all times. As you, oops, sorry. As you climb your mountain, when you climb any mountain and you go higher and higher and you look behind you, what do you see? Now, the trees become smaller, right? The rocks and features become very tiny. And this big tree log, which was once a hurdle on your way, becomes very small. That's because you simply outgrew it. You became more experienced about yourself, about your environment. You know what's happening. You became more agile in climbing. So you climb faster. And here is the interesting part. You will reach an area in your life where it's an altitude which is very comfortable and sun is shining, not very crowded, I'm happy over there, and you're going to set a little camp and stay there, and this becomes your comfort zone. You started off by having a dream, you want to have your own company, but now you became a valuable employee, so they are paying you more not to leave. And therefore, you designed your life from a paycheck to a paycheck. All your life is around this monthly payment. 10, 20, maybe 30 years later, He'd come out of the shades and look at the flag up there and say, like, I once had a dream. You know, it's okay to change your dream. It's absolutely fine, as long as you want to do that way. However, as long as you have a burning desire inside you that you want to do something else or you are destined to do something else, then you should follow, follow through and don't settle. Well, anyway, 95% of people will stay in their comfort zone. Only 5% will take the leap of faith. 5% will take the risk, and I'm not talking about just changing your career or changing a job. It's following what you want to do. And when this happens, it's going to test you. Life will test you, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your marriage, everything around you. Because simply, if it's that easy, everybody would be just sitting up there in the flags doing whatever they want to do. It takes a lot of energy to climb a mountain and even more energy to get out of your comfort zone. And these are my two favorite cars. Um, one is a Camaro, it's a racing car, and the other one is a Doge. And both of these cars have the same engine, 5.7 liters. Horsepower, almost the same, around 300 horsepowers. But if I attempt to take the Camaro and take it off-road, it's going to get stuck in the sand. However, if I try to race the Doge and take it to the track, I'm going to flip it because it's not designed to do so. You see, your body is the vehicle which is going to take you through life. And getting to know your body, getting to know exactly how to handle yourself, how to handle your vehicle, is the most important investment you're going to ever do in your entire existence. So get to know yourself. Get to know exactly what works for me, not necessarily is going to work for you. So this is where a lot of people try to lose the weight and they fail. A lot of people try to lose the weight and they cannot keep it off. And so many other people trying to build muscles. But it doesn't work. So rather than following any diets or anything blindly, take a step and pose and get to know yourself a little bit more. Now, <coughs> my three points for you now is, if you want to be fit, fast and fierce. Number one, focus on your goal. Keep it ahead of you at all times. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't settle. Number two, if you want to be fit, fast and furious, get to know more about your body. Eat less, but more frequently. Eat in sparing quantities. You see, if you eat more, you're going to get heavy. And when you get heavy, you're going to be less active and you're going to distract your energy. And my last point, people who changed the planet, people who made a big mark upon this planet, like Les Brown, Anthony Robbins, Napoleon Hill, Zig Ziglar, Stewart Wilde, and so many others, never did it from their comfort zone because it simply cannot be done. You really need to be okay to step out of your comfort zone and be yourself. 
if you are not, as long as you're not doing anything offensive to anybody else, then it's okay. People's opinion of you is none of your business. You should not care about what he or she is going to think of me. We should remove your masks and be yourself. Before we attempt to do something really different, we always the back process. Uh, what are they going to think of me? But why do you care? If you want to be yourself or you want to follow the herd, it's your call. And for that, if you think, you said a lot of you raised their hands and you want to do something extraordinary with their life. If you think you got what it takes to actually step out of your comfort zone, stand up now. Wow, very promising. I'm going to throw you off balance. Ted is being watched by thousands and thousands of people everywhere around the world. So more likely, if we can have the camera crew, if I have cameras to uh, show the audience your faces, you're most likely a lot of people are going to know what you're doing right now. We're going to do something really silly, but not offensive. So on my count of three, we're going to howl like a pack of wolves. I'm going to go, oh, and you're going to go with me. Do you think you have what it takes? Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh! One more time, some more energy. One, two, three. Oh! And the last one. Let's check the building. One, two, three. Oh! You guys are crazy. You got what it takes to be close enough to the 5%. Thank you. Thank you.